DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx. Back in the building, back in effect. Back in the building, back in effect. Back in the building, back in effect. Back, 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 but back, back in the building, back. Back in the building, back in effect. I'm back with another video. And today, I have a $200 <laughs> mystery box from my guy Eddie over at Old Man Collectibles. And as you can tell, it is. You probably can tell, like my face. No, I am. I am not high. I'm not smoking on the ganja, on the chiba chiba, y'all, on the reefer. I'm just really, really tired. <laughs> I actually just woke up. I'm on my way to see Eternals. Waiting for the missus to get out the shower, and I figure, should I sleep an extra hour, or should I get up and open this mystery box? So I've been dying to open these mystery boxes. I haven't opened up a mystery box in a while. Like you see. Uh, the mystery boxes, they do go up on the channel. A lot of those are just boxes that I have lying around. So this is the first mystery box that I, I picked up in a, in a few weeks. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to always support my guy Eddie over at Omega Collectibles. He is a great friend. And um, hopefully, oh man, already, already we're off to a bad start. It's a hair. Yucky poo, yucky poo. Oh shit. Hold up, how the hell did you pack this, dogs? All right, so we're gonna have a slab, we're gonna have some raw books. There are a bunch of other goodies in here. So let's just, let's just get everything out of El Boxo. Oh shit, what the hell? And then we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure out how to do this. So, um, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of goodies, what the hell is this? Yeah, uh, oh, that's tape. Oh, 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 oh. Um, a little Pac-Man mini arcade. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that there. So that's cool. A little uh, Pac-Man mini arcade. Um, a, a car. I know Eddie, Eddie's real big into his uh, Hot Wheels and stuff like that. But a, a mini GT. So that's pretty cool. And then... Uh, a pack of... Well, let me get this out of the way. So a pack of team... team you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 cards. So that's pretty cool. And then a card. So that's graded by the GMA. 1994 Flare Silver Server. Silver Surfer number 14 Power Blast. Graded near mint 7. So that's pretty cool. I don't have any graded cards. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty dope. And then of course we have the comic books. Actually, oh, I see something else another car so this is an archangel customs so this is a custom car i know eddie does a lot of custom cars himself it's in a bag so this is uh, pretty awesome this is my gift to you it is a gt40 which is for the great 40 years hot wheels has given us please enjoy this as you will the convention number 19 of 24 shout out to david michael so that's that that's uh good stuff interesting stuff um, yeah, all those little extras are, are fine. As, as long as they don't go toward the value of the box, then there's a problem because I, I bought a comic book mystery box, and I, not a Hot Wheels stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so none of that stuff is going to get counted towards the value here. And you know, I always do my eBay last souls and stuff like that, which is, is not the best way of doing things, but it's the easiest way of doing things. So thank you for bearing with me. As always, I'm going to show it to you. I'll flip it around and look at it. And here we go. Start here. Boom, so what do we got? The Defenders, Patsy Walker, AKA Hellcat. Uh, oh snap, I thought she was uh, El, El Nudo, but it looks like she has a, a nude colored cat suit on. Hellcat, never heard of this, so. <laughs> Next we go. What do we got? Ooh, nice. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Boba Fett, oh, variant, so War of the Bounty Hunters, number one, variant edition, this dope-ass Boba Fett action figure, wow, that's actually pretty cool, I don't collect Star Wars, but this is actually a really, really cool cover, next we go, what do we got, Backlash number one from Image Comics, Ah, never heard of Backlash. What 
what do we got <laughs> bloodlust hardline studios presents bloodlust now normally someone will look at this and be like what the hell is this crap and it's signed by the way but there's no coa so that's pretty cool so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see the signature but something like wacky like this this is right in my alley like it, it looks it looks fun it looks uh, uh pretty pretty weird so that's pretty cool next we get What do we got? Haha ha, number six. I believe this is the A cover. I have this. So that's a book that came out recently, maybe two, three months ago. Next book. What do we got? Nice. Marvel team up featuring Spider-Man and Hercules, aka Kevin Zorbo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this is pretty cool. We got, got the little baby crying down at the bottom. Little baby crying. Uh, okay, the, the ear is kind of flapped, I have to put that back. This is pretty dope, 25 center. Uh, Marvel team up number 28. Nice, Barbaric number one, this is the A cover. Uh, if you're not reading Barbaric, I think it was a three issue run. It's coming back, it's on hiatus right now. Yo, super fun, super dope. Uh, really violent, but funny. The writing was funny. It's, uh, yeah, one of those, those quirky things. Like, you wouldn't think that a bar barbaric tale like this with violence would be, would go great with, uh, be paired well with, like, some quirky, zany writing and, and characters, but I highly recommend picking up Barbaric. What do we got? Nice, Incredible Hulk 261. I see my boy, The Absorbing Man, in the background. I don't think I have this one. Or do I? Or don't I? Or do I? It's a mystery. But this is, obviously, any Incredible Hulk for me is always going to be good. I think I do have that. Oh, man, I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh, Eat the Rich, so a 1 in 10 variant. I also love Eat the Rich, like uh, the three issues that were released, pretty dope. So Eat the Rich, a 1 in 10 variant, so, uh, virgin variant, so this is pretty cool. Dope ass story. Uh, uh, something is face up, let's put that face down. What do we got? Uh... I think this is Dark Knight's Metal number three, I believe. Virgin variant. Uh, might be a street level heroes or well, unknown comics variant. Yeah, unknown comics uh, variant. This is the J Anacleto uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal issue two. Issue two. So I was I was one off. But this is a phenomenal, phenomenal cover. Two more Robux. Two more Robux. What do we got? <laughs> so this is a, a Thor of some kind. So it's a Funko Pop variant on the cover. That, that Loki looks pretty funny. So what do we got? Yes, so it is a, the Funko variant of Thor PX Previews exclusive of Thor number one. So that's a pretty nice hit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. And then the final raw book out of this $200 comic book mystery box before we go to the slab. <laughs> and the, and the, uh, a lot is weighing on that slab, if you know what I mean. Final raw book. What do we got? Fant Whoa! Fantastic Four number 37. Holy shit in pretty good condition as well a titanic tale tinged with that marvelous marvel magic behold a distant star i don't know if there's any significance to this but holy shit is this beautiful wow wow i mean it's not a, a 9.8 by any stretch of the imagination but still this a book this old the 12th center yo this presents really really well holy crap wow Wow. Wow. Holy crap. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to the slab. Come on, slab. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, uh, let me just make sure he didn't, because sometimes he puts in some stuff. Yeah, he did. So that's the thing with Eddie. Oh, man, it came out. A lot of them came out the thing. You're going to get, make sure if you get a box from him, you check the box, you check everything else that's around it, because there are going to be some things that he's going to put in there as like bonus items. So usually he puts in a, a sheet of cards to hide the front of the slab, and I'm going to try not to see the slab. So let me put this book on top of it. Um, yeah, so this is a sheet of cards. Hopefully you get to see it there. And I'm a big uh, Marvel card collector. So we have some Wildcat cards, which are pretty cool. Um, that awesome 94 Flair She-Hulk, which is dope. And then Slug from Marvel Universe Series 3. This Apocalypse movie, uh, Marvel Masterpiece, which is pretty cool. Then some more Valiant, and then uh, Multiple Man from an X-Men series thing. So for here, the ones that stand out to me definitely are the, the She-Hulk and that Apocalypse. Pretty, pretty awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then the slab. Let's get to the slabby slab 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 slab. Boom! Sp oh, Jesus Christmas. Spider-Man Unlimited number one. CGC graded at a 9.8. The first appearance of Shriek, who was just uh, in the Venom Let There Be Carnage series two. I mean, series two. Uh, Let There Be Carnage two movie. But the slab is beat up and this is no fault of eddie's i want to put that right out there in his preview picks the slab was fine the box came damaged and it was split open so this is definitely the work of the usps so that's disappointing but that's like i said this is no fault of eddie's still a beautiful book a beautiful slab but um yeah it kind of sucks that it's like freaking usps man Ugh. So overall, not counting any of the bonus trinkets, we're gonna treat this slab as if like he shipped it. It's a, it's a, it came the way it was supposed to come. Damn, it's even cracked over here. Fuck. Uh, God damn, it's even falling apart. <laughs> um, all right, like this kind of threw me off, but this is a dope slab. So I, I'm happy. I'm happy with the slab. We just have to figure out what the fuck is going on over here. So let, let's do the thing of uh, like, what's a keeper? What's a loser? What's a ugh, what's a keeper? What's a mover? Um, I'm digging the slab. This Fantastic Four is dope. That Thor is dope. Death Metal, eh. Eat the Rich, Hulk, Barbaric, Marvel Team Up. Haha, <laughs> just because I already have it, but it's still dope. But I'm going to put that in the pile. Bloodlust, Backlash, nobody cares about. Um, the Star Wars, the Bounty Hunters, and then Hellcat, nobody cares about. So three, what I call duds, just because it's not my taste. Like, and I've been saying that a lot of my mystery box vid videos, just because I don't like something doesn't mean it's a bad box. Whoa, doesn't mean that the value is not there. You know what I mean? So the value is probably going to be here. But overall, this is another awesome box from Old Man Collectibles. So what's that total value? So that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, and as always, most importantly, spread love because it is the Brooklyn way. Peace.